I just got home from work and I'm over at the barn and the concrete guys were here tonight prepping for concrete. It is Wednesday and we are getting concrete on Saturday. Check this out. It looks great. It's getting dark, so the footage, of course, is not going to be great because there's not good lighting, but it looks awesome. And you can see where the X's are here. That's where we dug down into it so that we have extended footers there if we ever want to put a car lift in. Man, this looks good. Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get concrete. are over here tonight putting up this J channel on the bottom part of the lean-to so that we can put some metal siding there. He got that side done over there. Well, almost, there's a small little section, but now he just put in that side. These are the pieces that Courtney's cutting and I'm putting them up. They're small pieces to go on the outside board of that lean-to. You can see where he's got the first couple ones on there. And he's also got the drip edge coming over, which is that white part. So now, of course, we just gotta finish all this. So to make it go faster, he's gonna put them up. And I'm over here and I'm gonna cut them. This whole side is done. It looks really good. Gives it a nice finished look over here. And honestly, the black pieces that I'm cutting for that are just scrap pieces that we had from the barn. Now we're gonna get this front part done and then we'll be done for the night. This is very nice that you are cutting my pieces for me, hon. It's literally cutting the time in half. Did you catch that? <laughs> cutting. easy but it's helpful and it's done we still need to put the corner trim up along the top edge like we did on the back but it's done for tonight that's a wrap we are getting concrete tomorrow morning and we are so excited they're getting here at 7.30 a.m. It should be amazing when they're finished. Also, these lights that James put in, incredible. All right, we'll pick up in the morning when you'll see concrete going in.
Third concrete truck just left. This is the fourth one that's here now. Making lots of progress. It's only 9 a.m. on the dot. And they've already got this much done. They're doing a great job. I'm coming around back to check it out. See what it looks like from this angle. Taylor and Dalton left here just now. What time is it? 7.45 p.m. 7.45 and they got here at 6.30 this morning. They had everything, all the concrete down by about 10 o'clock and uh, they started finishing it. They had to let it set up a little bit and then they put a saw cut through it. And I can't tell you how pleased I am with their work. This is, I'm not sure anybody could have done any better than this to be honest with you. It is super flat. I put my transit on it and I have not found a spot that is not completely level. Yeah. And they, that is the truth. They did a fantastic job. And their saw cut lines are perfectly straight. It just, it really looks good.
Looking back at this footage while I'm editing this video, I just want to make a real quick shout out to my husband. I don't think people realize how hard he actually works and how good of a job he genuinely does on every project. He has invested so much of his energy and time into this pole barn and you can tell here, it just looks amazing. We would contemplated saving some money and not putting down a concrete floor, but honestly, with the time he's put into this and what we're going to use it for over our lifetime of living here at our farm, it's absolutely worth the investment. So we spent a lot of money on this concrete, but it was worth every single penny. I mean, look at how good it looks. We are saving some money by sealing the concrete ourselves, which we will be doing in the next video, but that's pretty much it for this one. Let us know if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, have a great week.